Hi Delaney, I'm Dr. B. I'm going to be performing a scalp check on you today, okay? Have you ever had a scalp exam before? I haven't. Okay. So it's basically going to involve me just looking really um, finely through the hair, looking at the hair follicles, the growth of the scalp, um, and doing any treatment that you need to get it as healthy as possible, okay? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So I'm going to put on some gloves to take a check through. You can just close your eyes and relax. I'm going to just be looking through initially with a light for anything that I'd have to avoid. Any um, bumps or scrapes on the head that you know of? Not that I know of. Okay. Just doing a general inspection right now. We'll look through every inch of the scalp in a minute. Just turning it gently here. Any pain when I touch you? That's all good. Okay, just tell me if you feel anything. Just running my fingers along the hairline here. I'm looking for any brittleness or signs of hair loss. Mm -hmm. Looks nice and healthy. Gently lift you up here. Okay. There's no initial um, signs of um, injury or pain, so I'm going to proceed, proceed with the uh, main inspection, okay? okay? I'm going to start right in the middle here, work my way first to the right, then to the left. And then I may have you turn on your side so I can get to the back of the head, okay? Okay. Which side? Uh, I'll let you know when we get there. For now, just relax. Actually, just a few tangles here, so let me brush your hair through so that I don't cause any breakage. Also look at the hair while I'm doing this. It is nice and thick, healthy. A little bit of breakage at the end. Do you use heat products on your hair? No, I just don't get it trimmed often enough. Okay, when was the last time you had a trim? I don't even know, honestly. Okay, it's been a long time. Yeah, probably over a year. Okay. So yeah, there is definitely a little bit of breakage which you could trim off. What can sometimes happen here at the end when you get um, the hair at the end, the head is a little bit finer, it can get a little bit more tangled. Mm -hmm. Hurting you here? No, it's good. Okay. Just want to get through the tangles.
The hair's quite long as well. Again, just starting to separate the hair. First, just inspecting with my eyes. I'm going to look with a magnifying light. Scalp looks really healthy, moisturized. Just a little bit of buildup at the base of the follicles, a little oil buildup. Same thing there, just a little bit of oil build up. How often are you washing your hair? Probably about three times a week. Okay, that's fine. Hair is nice and shiny, especially by the roots here. It does look a little bit more brittle at the ends. Pretty consistent throughout, just a little bit of irritation. Mm -hmm. Do you find once, you know, after a day or two of not washing the hair is just getting very greasy, oily? Um, some days when I work too much. Okay. I'm just seeing a little bit of buildup in the in the the pores of the scalp. Mm -hmm. I used to wash my hair every day, that was bad. That was, yeah, maybe just a little too much. I mean, I honestly think uh, even every other day could, could be a little bit too much. Sometimes, um, you know, when we're washing away our natural oils of our hair, our body wants to produce more oils in order to you know, make up for that deficit of what we take away. Mm -hmm. So that could be an issue, but 
And honestly, it doesn't look like an unhealthy scalp. It looks like a healthy scalp that could just be even healthier. Nothing major that I'm noticing on this side. I do have a mole freckle right here. Take a close look at that. I did not know that. Yep, yeah, it's just about a millimeter to round, symmetrical, flat, consistent in color. Nothing to worry about. That's good. Here. Yeah, those ones can be hard to spot, which is why it's good to you know, get your scalp check every year. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you um, gently turn onto this shoulder, so this way, just so I can check the back. That's perfect. good back here just a little, even a little less redness possibly just almost no sun exposure back here since it's covered up are you wearing hats outside no okay I'm protect my scalp very well definitely something to consider especially since you do have a couple of those freckles under the scalp mm -hmm. and you are fair skinned as well. Okay, back to center for me, please. Okay. So my inspection basically noted that there was a little bit of oil, a little bit of sebum buildup in the pores of the scalp. Um, I just want to do a few uh, sensory tests in the scalp uh, just to get a baseline. You're not noting there's any issues, but it's the first time we see you, so we'll make sure everything is functioning and note that in your chart. So I'll just be testing in a few spots down the middle, this side here and here, okay? So first thing, I'm just going to separate the hair. And I've got just a little puff of air, which should tell me if there's any tingling in the scalp, okay? Any tingling? No tingling, just air. Do you feel the air? I do, yes. Okay. Tingling? No. Next, I've just got a little piece of cotton here. Just say um, yes when you feel me touch you. I'll be going into different parts of the scalp, right? Yes. 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 Yes.
feels a little bit lighter than the first time, but the same still. The same sort of prickly? Mm-hmm. Okay, same. Try over here. That didn't feel so sharp. How about there? That did, yeah. I think I just didn't get the right angle. So sensory is intact, um, so we can note that in your file for next time. Um, so I think what I want to do, since the scalp is definitely needing a little bit of um, cleansing, um, a little bit of maybe a little coolness, so I'm going to take a peppermint essential oil um, for a nice cooling effect to calm the scalp. Just mix it in with one of the um, cleansers that I like to use, okay, and it's really a gentle cleanser. So I'll get that prepared. So along those same scalp lines, you just feel a little bit of cooling spray, and then I'm going to rub it in, okay? okay. And you may start to feel a little bit of tingling and coolness.
you gently turn onto the side for me, please, so I can get to the back? Perfect, thank you. And turn to the front again. So I just want to uh, massage this into your scalp so it's nice and evenly distributed, okay? Just relax. Just look in a few spots now to see how that scalp looks. Definitely looks a little bit more moisturized, but cleared out. So instead of oily, it's 
just really blend it in and shiny. Before we finish up, I just want to measure the hair, um, especially because you don't get it trimmed very often. I want to see how the hair growth is um, over time. So I'll mm -hmm. track it now and then we'll see where it's at the next time you come in. If you do get it trimmed, um, just measure how much you got trimmed off and then we can still do the calculations of how quickly the hair is growing, okay? okay. So long this piece is about 64 centimeters. That's quite long. Mm -hmm. Let's try one here. About 38. Bang. Track those three spots. Okay, last thing I'm going to do just for it feeling nice is a little bit of hair pulling. Just to relieve some of the tension of the scalp and just getting it nice and tingly before you leave. Mm -hmm. Everything feel okay in the scalp? Mm-hmm. Okay, Delaney, so I think that um, concludes our scalp check for today. Um, just kind of recommend that you consider a regular trimming of the hair. It'll just keep it nice and healthy and prevent some of that tangling in the bottom, mm -hmm. as well as um, possibly doing um, either a little less um, conditioner in the scalp or seeing what it's like to go one more day uh, without washing the hair just to um, work on a little bit of that oil builds up okay okay sounds good all right um anything else i can do for you today i think that's all thank all you right. so much thank you for coming in